Hi guys, I'll sell here and today we're going to test TaylorMade M2 against the Callaway Great Big Bertha Epic drivers. So neither of these are kind of the low spin model from their manufacturer, but for those guys who need that little bit more spin, we're going to see which one performs the best. So I've got both of them set at 80 degrees, stiff shafts, pretty, about as close as I can get in weight, 160, 162 grams. We're going to hit five wheel balls on GC2, see how they stack up, see who your winner is. First of all though, we're going to start with the big Bertha, a uh, great big Bertha Epic driver from Callaway. So I have done a separate review on both of these, but let's hit the shots, look at the numbers and see who comes out on top. solid ones with the Epic. Let's switch over to TaylorMade with the M2. So, do you like the feel of Epic? What? And I think that the feel and the sound is very different with the TaylorMade to the Callaway. Obviously completely different look, but try and get five good ones with this and see how this happens. I think five very, very solid ones with the Callaway, three very solid, two solid ones, but maybe just a touch low off the face with the M2. Still seems to perform well, but let's look at the numbers and see how the two drivers compare. Okay guys, so we look at the numbers between Epic and M2. So ball speed identical at 155.3, we're looking at launch angle just a touch lower on M2, but maybe a couple of those stripes just a little bit lower on the face. Backspin 2,400 against 2,500, it's nothing in it. 32 yard peak height against 28, which again for me the, the slightly lower strikes with the M2, took that down. But average carry 266 against 259 and 290 against 284, clear winner. Okay guys, so we've looked at the numbers and surprise surprise, when these drivers are set up in the same way, struck in a very similar fashion, the performances are almost identical. And certainly for the five shots I've hit with each and the distance I'm hitting the ball, we're talking tiny percentages in difference, but there was a winner, and today's winner was the Callaway Great Big Bertha Epic Driver. So like I said guys, this was more aimed for the guys who maybe don't spin it enough, and a lot of guys are looking for the kind of Sub-Zero and the M1, but for the drivers that don't spin it, uh, that need a bit more spin, both of these are great options. As ever, the key for you guys is to get fitted, you know, make sure that you've got the right loft, the right shaft, the right setup of the head. Get somebody who's qualified who knows what he's doing on a launch monitor to give you some feedback. 
As ever though guys, really hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, do appreciate you taking the time. Follow me on all the social media platforms. Subscribe to my channel if you don't already. Hopefully catch up with you guys down in the future. Stay in contact.